Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make a delicious, rich, hearty oxtail. Start by washing the oxtail until it's clean. Change the water as often as you need to. Add vinegar into a bowl of water. Drain the water from the sink. Then add the oxtail into the bowl of vinegar water. This cleaning process is to remove any impurities in the meat. Let it sit for 30 minutes and then wash it in the same bowl. Then let it sit for another 30 minutes. Now remove the oxtail and put it in clean water. Rinse the vinegar off. Change the water as needed until you cannot smell the vinegar. Dry off the oxtail. You can use a cloth if you need to. Add oil into a pot and a tablespoon of butter. Let it heat up on high and then add sugar to brown the oxtail. Stir the sugar into the pot. Place the oxtail into the pot and brown it on medium heat. Keep turning the meat so that it browns all around. Add one teaspoon of black pepper, half a chopped onion, bay leaves, curry leaves, soy sauce, and then stir. Keep browning the oxtail. This helps to intensify its flavor. Place the oxtail in your slow cooker. Now add a quarter cup of water into the pot we are using and then stir. We will use this as an additional flavorful gravy shortly. Add a quarter cup of water into your slow cooker. Then add one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of raja hot curry powder, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, a quarter chopped red bell pepper, three cloves of garlic, half chopped onion, two small carrots, thyme, chopped rosemary, Worcestershire sauce, or as we call it in South Africa, Worcester sauce, one diced tomato, two oxtail stock cubes. Take the gravy that is in the pot and add it into your slow cooker. Stir all the ingredients together. Add 250ml of water. Then close the lid and cook for 6 hours. Stir and then cook for an additional 2 hours. Once your meat is falling off the bone, add some flour to thicken up the gravy. Stir and let it cook on low for about 30 minutes. Your oxtail should now be ready. Serve your delicious oxtail with your preferred side. I absolutely love serving it with creamy mashed potatoes. Check out my mashed potato recipe. Find the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you. See you next time.